I know money isn't everything to you, freak. And I find it hard to say this, but I've grown to respect that in you. You're a man of conviction. But it's my responsibility to point out the consequences of that way of thinking. Now, for you, winning is everything. But winning isn't something you could do alone. It requires excellent or, at the very least, competent coaching, contributing teammates, and God-willing good health. And we all know that's not a guarantee. Now, the reality is you're not in control of any of those other factors. But if you, as the star player, fail to win and deliver a championship, you will be held responsible. You will be scapegoated, you will be villainized, and you will be punished accordingly. So when you say to me that as a free agent, all you care about is being in the best position to win, I understand what you mean. But again, that's not only up to you. Now, I'm going to call my guy at Apollo Jets. I'm going to get us a private plane for this tour. I promise you, you're going to love the free agency experience. Now, your relationship with Vic has unfortunately cost us in some of these negotiations. We had 10 teams interested. We now only have three. But thankfully, thankfully, you wised up when it came to Vic. Have you been in contact with Vic? Yo, freak, look at me. He still has one of my cars, Dom. What did I tell you about the L word? The L word? What is this? Loyalty. Uh. I don't know what kind of hold this Vic has over you, but it makes me scared. You're a free agent for the first time in your career, and the only person you need to be loyal to is you. You need to be an FOF. You need to be a friend of Freak. Let's forget about winning without appropriate compensation and loyalty that hasn't been earned and isn't deserved. This is a tough business, Freak. We need to be tougher. Come on. Cece? Woo, Lord Jesus, I was about to blow a gasket. <sighs> okay, Freak. Now, there are very few options on the table, and I want you to explore them all before making your final decision. Whatever you decide, it needs to be an informed decision, not an emotional one. The larger the markets, the greater resources at your disposal and exposure for you. But if you don't allocate these resources properly, then it's just a big spotlight on you as you lose. Well, thank you kindly, big sis. She's right, Freak. Thanks, Don. Absolutely. Team Freak. That's what we're about. Oh, whoa, whoa, I don't know if I like this. What? Dom and CC high-fiving like that? I mean, yeah, why you got so certain I'm going to lose? Whoa, whoa, whoa. No one thinks you're going to lose, Freak. You guys sure sound like it. We just want you to select a franchise that has great coaching, super talent exposure, but most importantly, a ton of cap space. If the team doesn't win and you're to blame, at least you won't be broke, capiche? Capiche. Also, you should make sure it's somewhere you want to raise a family, but no pressure. Mm. <laughs> well, you guys have made this decision so much easier. What did mom and dad say? You know what they said. I mean, but honestly, I'm torn. I've heard and listened to what you've all had to say. Don't take this the wrong way. There's just one person I haven't heard from, and that's Vic. Oh, Lord, help us. Yo, Vic, where you at? I've been trying to call you, man. Hit me back. You know him. He's probably somewhere too loud to hear his phone. I don't know. I think Vic's actually upset with me. Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. Welcome to the NBA free agency of 2016. David iPod King Carter will be taking his talents to a new town. I will not be returning to the Kings. And the only reason for that is they have way too many point guards. And that's somewhat of a roster that I don't think I can climb within one season. Now, you guys will see that the Sacramento Kings are willing to give me 23 minutes, and the percent of interest is the highest, of course, we already know that. Now, the second team is the New York Knicks, and everybody already knows why, because of the storyline. I am from Harlem. They literally chose two New York teams to have uh, two out of the five highest interest in me, but you guys will see the Philadelphia 76ers are available. You guys know that I am a big, huge fan of the Philadelphia 76ers. Whoop, whoop. Now, I'm going to be choosing them as my first team. I'm going to be choosing the Knicks as my third team, Sacramento Kings as my second team. Now, the only reason for this is my bidding offers is solely because I want the Sixers to give me everything that I possibly can. Now, it isn't about the VC for me. It's more about the minutes. Now, you guys will see that the Knicks and the Kings are both willing to give me 23 minutes but the Sixers are only willing to give me 20 minutes now within this three minute span 
anything can happen, you know, maybe I can get a couple steals, get a couple rebounds, get a couple assists, score a little bit, so I'm gonna ask for both from the Knicks and the Kings, now, the funny thing about this is, a lot of people are gonna say, bro, you know darn well you ain't gonna get nothing extra out of these dudes, now, what I'm trying to do is, when you ask for minutes from the Sixers and ask for both from the other ones, they're going to hold at their offers. So whatever team you want to go to, just say, hey, give me a little bit more minutes, but pick those other two teams that have the high VC and the high minutes per game. And you'll be able to negotiate with the lower team that you want and you'll have more interest with that team. So I'm going to ask for both one more time. And the free agent offers are in. It's round three. And guess what? The Kings and the Knicks both pulled out the deal. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen? David Ipod King Carter is a sixer. All right. All right. Hello. Hey, well, I'd like to thank everyone for coming here today. I'd especially like to thank God, my Lord and Savior, my family, my agent, Mr. Don Pagnotti, twin sister and manager, Cece, my lady. Thank you guys for all your support. I'd also like to thank all the fans um, and all the people out there who consider themselves an FOF, a friend of free. My free agency has been nothing short of amazing. And frankly, it has been a dream come true. But like most dreams, the reality is very different from what I imagined. Though I wouldn't change a thing about this period and the time I spent in the NBA, I can honestly say that nothing has been more gratifying and more difficult than choosing where to play next year. I sought the wise counsel of my loved ones. Nothing puts me at ease more than knowing that regardless of my decision, you guys will be there for me no matter what. Now, there are so many wonderful teams in the league, each field with stellar talent and all vying to be number one. For me, there's nothing more important than winning and surrounding myself with those who feel just as passionately about the game as I do and have an unrelenting desire to win a championship ring. That's what matters most to me. It is for this reason, above all, I've decided to play for the Philadelphia 76ers. Yeah! Brotherly love. Uh -huh.